What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel. What if I told you that quite possibly there is going to be a feature added into Black Ops Cold War and future Call of Duty games that will allow you to share your custom loadouts via social media for your friends and followers to download. Today we're going to be discussing this recently filed patent by David Vondahar and some other features within this patent. Pretty cool stuff, let's check it all out. So guys, I deeply apologize for not uploading the past couple of days. I've been busy handling some personal business going on in life. I was away from my setup and sadly, I was not able to play Black Ops Cold War much at all last week. But we are back now and boy, today do we have something really cool to talk about. But just as a little quick disclaimer for you guys, just because something has been filed for a patent or even owning a patent doesn't always necessarily mean it'll be implemented into law or into a video game. But if Activision Blizzard do own this patent, then no other game studio or company can use their idea. And that's kind of like my armchair legal explanation of what a patent is for you guys who've never heard of what, what that is. Um, but pretty much any game studio you can think of, EA, Ubisoft, um, Activision Blizzard, all these video game studios has filed for various patents. And again, some of those get implemented into a video game, some do not. But in a sense though, again, the studios will legally own that idea and nobody else can take it from them. Now, this was recently filed under David Vonderhaar, which we all know is the lead developer over at Treyarch Studios. The patents abstract or pretty much a brief summary reads, a method for creating and sharing customized video game weapon configurations in multiplayer video games via one or more social networks is provided. So essentially when a player makes a loadout via the Call of Duty's gunsmith, they can share that loadout directly on a social media account like Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. So again, basically if I were to create my own custom loadout in a gunsmith, I'm gonna call it my Mr. The Reverts Amazing 42069 loadout, whatever. Um, then I can have a full weapon breakdown of that loadout outside of the game. So the social media post is gonna have a little performance profile that would then show players the same statistics that they would see inside of the Call of Duty's Gunsmith. And that goes with the pros and cons for the attachments as well. And, and just every other piece of information that would be displayed inside of the Gunsmith is gonna be displayed inside of that social media post. And then a global performance rating would then be showed off to tell other players how they're performing with this loadout. And again, this is all gonna be under one entire social media post. And also apparently the patent further describes the details of a sharing engine that would allow players to use personalized text, graphics, pictures, audio, video footage, and other multimedia when sharing weapon configurations for my followers and the Call of Duty community to download. But it doesn't end just there because as a content creator myself, I could issue like challenges to you guys. Maybe I could issue something like earn 1 million kills with this weapon loadout and whoever gets this challenge first can become the winner of a giveaway or something like that. So again, to sum everything up, instead of having to tweet a picture of what I have for my weapons loadout, I could just make a social media post and that will come with a custom code that I can share with you guys to enter and download directly. And then inside of the game, you will have access to my Mr. The Revert 69 of 420 loadout. I'll have a link to the full patent read down below in the description in case you guys wanna go check that out. But Call of Duty's main goal with this is to become even more global and accessible to arguably the greatest invention and trendsetter to ever be created, which is social media. Like this idea is absolutely huge for the COD scene because it's going to add more fun interactions with us Call of Duty fans, streamers, YouTubers, professional players. And also it's gonna be easier for those players who wanna keep up to date with the current meta builds for Call of Duty instead of having to read a bunch of different posts on Facebook and Twitter saying, oh, this is the best loadout. No, this one is, this one is. Like, it's just super duper confusing for those players. Well, players can then design their own loadout, generate the code, and then upload that onto Twitter or Facebook and then the stats of that loadout across the community is gonna tell others which loadout is the best and why. But now in the past, yeah, there has been some really odd patents that Activision Blizzard has filed for that made a lot of fans upset. Some of these like determining the exact method for skill-based matchmaking 
We don't exactly know if that actually came from one of these patents filed under Activision's list. Like what I'm trying to say is there is just so much information and details from all these patents that have been filed that are pretty hard to determine if they actually have been implemented into Call of Duty. Some may have, sure, but some may also haven't yet, or they may never ever be added into Call of Duty. We don't exactly know, um, but that also applies to, you know, uploading the loadout on, on social media. Like, we don't know if this will actually become a thing added into Call of Duty, but if you ask me, I would give it a very high possibility that we will see this added at some point because recently Call of Duty Mobile added their gunsmith features, so if they didn't do that, definitely I would be raising an eyebrow, but I kind of think that, that we're going to be seeing this new feature added at some point within 2021 or possibly in the next couple of years because what it seems like Activision is trying to do with all of the most recent and current games is they want to put a bigger focus on a shared progression across all games instead of having to flip-flop from different games year after year after year after year. And another way to enforce that would be to add this new feature of uploading our gunsmith loadouts for others to use on social media, especially within Warzone, which by the looks of it, that's gonna be Activision's baby for the next decade. And we haven't even begun to scratch the surface of what entails for that mode, I can tell you that right now. But anyways, please tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments, guys. Does this patent sound like a really good idea or not? Again, please let me know and why. Thanks for watching. If you guys want to see more, feel free to subscribe and click the bell icon so you can't miss out on a single video. Also, feel free to come hang out with me in my Discord server, Twitch stream, and over on Twitter. Links can be found down below. I love you guys so, so much. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.